It's an international fixture here, and that will bring back memories for you and your England career. Well, it is a proud moment. You stand there, you sing along to the national anthem, and uh, you just want to do yourself justice representing your country. My first World Cup, Alan, as a commentator, 1978 in Argentina, won by Argentina. And I'll never forget the outpourings of joy from the local fans at that triumph. Yeah, the ticker tape, Mario Kempes, Ozzy Ardiles, great times for the country. It's a sensational goal for the underdogs. Well, look at his face, he's loving it, and you can understand why. seemed to lose the concentration almost they saw it coming from a long way out well it was just perfect from the delivery to the finish top marks so the first goal it's 1-0 Maidana now Messi This is how they love to play on the break. The shot's on. Oh, what a game. They've equalised. Both sides really attacking better than they're defending. And from the neutral point of view, that's really exciting. Level again. Fantastic from the neutral point of view that the game is level again. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Spotted that well and intercepted. Sigerson! Corner coming up. Corner swung in. Led away by the defender. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Made the challenge well. And that'll be a throw. Can't keep it on the pitch, it's gone out for a throw. Gomez. Bilia. Lionel Messi. And here they are, on the attack. Gomez. Supporting player alongside. Delicately plays Dybala. And he's taken the chance beautifully. I think a manager loves that kind of goal because it was a real team effort the way they moved the ball about. And once it came to the finish, it was an unerring effort. He's beaten the goalkeeper, but only just it went in off the keeper. Well, I think it was just a pair on the ball, Martin. It was too much for him. The lead then with Argentina. Some potential in this move. Pulls it back now. Could have been his second. But the goalkeeper has at least nullified this particular attempt. Oh, you fancied the striker there, didn't you? Having already scored, he's he's been playing well, he's confident in front of goal. Whipped in by Gilfie Sigurdsson. Gomez. And now Messi. And here's some attacking play from Argentina. Gonzalo Higuain. Offside. That's an easy decision.
pass. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Challenges for the ball. Gilfie Sigurdsson. Here's an opportunity to really put some pressure on the defenders, but the ball was a woeful one, too high. Can we have another look at that save? He's a master at getting his angles right, isn't he, this goalkeeper? He's coming forward with some danger. Higuaín. It's a dynamic run, this, from Dybala. Higuaín! Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. <laughs> Gilfie Sigurdsson. Very good shielding of the ball. Lionel Messi. Getting forward well as a team now. Trying to pick out Messi. Oh, that's good defending. All eyes on Argentina in a game like this. And what they're seeing, what everyone is assessing, is a side that's got potential for better, but done OK. Of all the decisions that are difficult to get right on a regular basis, offside, probably right up there, isn't it, Alan? Right here? Yeah, when the defence is pushing up and the player's rushing through, it's such a difficult decision, but it's a good one in this case. Eva Banega. Gonzalo Higuain. Just a heavy touch, the opposition could take the ball away. the attacking third slip through brilliant pass can he finish it Messi back into play off the crossbar and they get it away Bilia Eva Banega Di Maria Bilia he went in well the two oohs around the uh, crowd for a three minute add on which is what we're going to get for added time that's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. Di Maria. Seeking Messi in the middle. Cleared away by the defender. Well stuck out of foot. Well, this is half-time, that's the whistle. And 2-1 is the score. Second half to start now, and it's Argentina to do just that. Angel Di Maria. Eva Banega. It's Argentina attacking here. Dybala. Argentina, corner for them. Corner's taken. Defended well. Nicholas Otamendi. I think they want to get out of this position where they're just defending their own penalty area, really. And play more active in the game. Drills it in. One in front. They would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front. 
and they really could have been. Yeah, might they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Now this looks promising. Gilfie Sigurdsson. He's through here. Well, give him credit for having a go, but he's nowhere near the target. Yeah, he took responsibility, didn't he? And uh, he'll be hoping it's a bit better next time. Here's a chance to attack. In with the chance. Oh, charge down. Crisp defending there. And that's Argentina getting an advantage. The official said it might have been a foul, but you can play on Argentina have got the ball. Higuaín. Acuna. Good position for the cross. Trying to pick out Messi. Good defensive clearance there. Lucas Biglia. Good interception. Gilfie Sigurdsson. Eva Banega. Biglia. Eduardo Salvia. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Gets his foot in there. Put into the middle. Here's an opportunity, maybe. Oh, that would have looked great if it had flown in, but in the end, it didn't fly very close at all. No, he looked a bit embarrassed after that effort. That's good movement forward here. Saw the goal and went for it. Given that he tried to place it, he got it rather wrong. Yeah, probably did choose the wrong option. Should have tried to get some power behind that shot. position of pressing high now what is the referee going to do here Eva Banega Bilia into the attacking third Messi slips past his marker he's got his shot off now well they've all gone to the defender to say well done but I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. Well, that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. with a World Cup coming up in South America. First one since 1978. Argentina won it in their own country then. They'll be trying to do something to Brazil in Brazil. And uh, these sort of games are really important in the build-up to it. They played well here. To get the equaliser. Oh, it really could have been the goal to bring them level. Well, it looked easy, didn't it? He's close in there, getting some stick from the crowd. Really made a hash of that to try and get the equaliser.
Bilia. Eduardo Salvia. Eva Benega. Well, they're in a good position here. The poor tackle. But it Free kick. Well, the team that are in front are going to try and keep in front with a change here. A player being brought on from the bench. Good position, they've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position now. Eduardo Salvio. Nicholas Otamendi. It's messy. Cutting in now. Messi! Good block. Dybala. Now with Biglia. Messi. And shoots! Lucas Biglia. She is less up. Nicholas Otamendi. Could get his cross in now. Makes a challenge here. And it's come to an end now as the referee calls a halt. I think we thought that this team would be brushed aside. They proved those thoughts to be very misguided. Well, I think they'll get a real pat on the back from their manager because they gave it their all. Didn't leave anything out on the pitch there tonight. My first World Cup, Alan, as a commentator, 1978 in Argentina, won by Argentina. The shot's on! Oh, what a game! They've equalised both sides, really attacking better than they're defending. And from the neutral point of view, that's really... Supporting player alongside. Delicately played through. Dybala. And he's taken the charge beautifully. I think the manager loves that kind of goal because it was a real team effort the way they moved the ball about. And once it came to the finish, it was an unerring.